What's happening B's and G's and welcome back to the progress series. If you've missed any of the episodes, I'll leave the playlist up in the top right corner. There's only a few before this, so if you're new to the series today, go and start from number one. It will make much more sense to you. Those of you who are regulars to the channel will know I want to go for the Infernal Cape, but I'm going to need some things. 95 range, 94 mage, 77 prayer for rigor and augury. And so over the next few episodes, those are going to be the goals. We're going to try and get all of those things. So we're going to kick off this episode with a Dust Devils task, which is really nice. We're going to get some decent Magi XP from it. Uh, so let's go and smash some Dust Devils. So we're actually going to be using the new spell Smoke Barrage, which we got at this level. I've never used it before, and it is a bit more expensive. But it seems to hit higher and gives me like 600 XP drops, which I was not getting before. Like the max we were getting before was like 500. So it probably is going to be worth it. It's going to be a bit more expensive, but you know, I want these levels as quickly as possible. Honestly, I fucking love this spell. The XP drops and the kills are so quick. It's so much better. It's worth the extra cost that it's costing me. I think it's like 600, 700 more coins per cast. But honestly, it is so good. Oh my god, it's ripping through these guys. 83 Slayer should be coming in on the next kill. There it is, 83 Slayer. We are now two levels away from Abbey Demons. Coming up to 87 Mage here. We just need to uh, go and get another pile together. And then we should be good. Dark Totem Middle just came up as well. Very nice. Right, let's uh, drop these rune daggers then. Let's go and grab ourselves the Dark Totem Middle. That's so nice. Uh, the Air Battle Staff as well. Is there anything else there? Earth Battle Staff. These are so hard to go through. Like, I wish you could get rid of bones. It makes it so hard to read all of this. Uh, the rune arrows we've been collecting as well. Anything else there? No, I think we're good. Dust runes. Some more coins as well. The coins here are so good. Like, 108k just in coin drops. Absolutely crazy. Right, let's uh, grab him and let's go and get this magic level. 87 magic coming in. It's a... Uh, few more of these and then we should be able to trap them yeah cool let's go and get it 87 magic coming in we are so close 259 the next xp drop should get it there it is 87 magic coming in looking beautiful one step closer to that 90 magic that i want pretty much asap um i'll definitely get that in the next day or so uh, just because i want it so badly like it'd be nice to have all the combat stats up in the 90s that is the dust devils done that's 192 tasks done 12 points we got for that Gives us 148. A few points to play with, but nothing too high. Let's go and see how much we got back on that. Obviously, we spent a lot on the runes and stuff, but let's see uh, how much we made back on the loot. It's looking pretty good so far, to be fair. Look at 141k just in GP. We also got the Dark Totem, which is pretty nice. Um, another piece to go and fight Skatozo or Skatizo, one of the two. Um, let's go and chuck all of this up. That seems to be everything. Quite a few Chaos Runes went into the pouch, but obviously we can't grab those out. But 460k, that's really not bad. Probably call it 500k with the Chaos Runes. Really not a bad snag of loot there, which definitely, you know, might not pay for the runes we, we cast, but it definitely gets very close and makes it a cheap way of getting really fast magic. Woohoohoo! 53 mil. That is the biggest cash stack we've had in the bank for a long, long time. And uh, the bank is up to 240 mil once we put everything we've got on back in the bank. That is the most I've ever had the bank up to. So the, uh, the GP is definitely doing well. Let's go over and get another task from Neve. Let's have a look. What are you going to give us? What are you going to give us? If it's something good, we'll probably go and do it now. If not, I have something up my sleeve, which I really want to do. So uh, the future of this video depends on what we get from Neve. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Kurasks. Oh, God. We've got to go and do those. We'll go and smash those out, and then I'll... Uh, then I'll do what I wanted to do after. By the way, I uh, cleaned the bank up. Look at this. Like, we've got all the potions, all the runes in a tab, everything that goes together nicely. Honestly, food tab, everything's looking good. This is still messy, but this is just a loot tab from, like, Zola and stuff. This is, like, my uh, my fashion scape, if I ever want to do that. I don't really have a fashion scape, though. We're up to 26,000 hammers as well, which is absolutely crazy. And then we got the graceful set as well there. So, yeah, I thought I'd just show you that, guys, because uh, I'm quite proud that I cleaned my bank. It's probably not up to the standards of some of you guys, but uh, for me, this is stupidly clean. Boys, we got a Rainer! Honestly, six kills into the Kurask, and we get the Kurask head. That is one in 3,000. That's not the RNG I want. That's really not the RNG I want for a rare drop. 
It's actually annoyed me. So I forgot Alking Runes and the Herb Sack, so the inventory filled up a little bit quicker than I would have wanted. But uh, from the first 100 kills of the Kuras, I got 470k, so not bad at all. And we went and finished off the rest of the Kuras, and there's about 120k there. So we made like 550k from that task, which isn't bad at all. But, uh, you know, it's nothing compared to bossing doing Vorkath or Slayer or something. Hey, Slag, how you doing? Anyway, guys, we're going to go and get another task from Neve. Wow, that shit. So we went and smashed like seven or eight more tasks, and now we are on to the 200th task. I really want something decent. Hopefully blue dragons. I'd love to do like 100 Warcap kills. Let's see what we're going to get from Duradel. Oh, we got Kurask. I'll take that. So that was the 200th task coming in there, Bs and Gs. 375 points. I actually forgot. You guys would have just seen the clip where I'm like, this is the 200th task. We're going to go and do it. But that was like a couple of days ago for me, so I'm like genuinely surprised by that. Takes us to 607. We were really low on points. So that's sorting us right out. Uh, we're going to go over to a Slayer Master and just sort of have a browse at some stuff we can do. Um, just with all those points, 607. I haven't had that many since we bought the Herb Sack. Legit. So good. So there wasn't really anything we could do with a Slayer Master, like with the points and stuff. So I just left that out for now. But we're going to go and get ourselves 77 Prayer. Gonna go buy like 10 burning amulets. Uh, we're gonna get Dagonoff bones as well. I feel like they're worth the risk to go and get them. Um, and then we're gonna go to the Wildy Altar and start buying those things. The cash stack has dropped a little bit because we went and got ourselves an imbued heart so I could do Zora a bit more effectively. Uh, just in case you guys were like, where's the 50 mil gone? Uh, so let's go and get ourselves some burning amulets. Let's get 10 of those because, yeah, we're gonna probably need maybe, we might need more than that to be fair. Um, and then I'm going to go and buy myself, like, 300 Dagonoff Bones. Uh, 100, 200, 300, 2.7 mil worth. Let's uh, go and do that. Boom. And we bought all of those. Cool. And I'm definitely not going to bring them as notes because I do not want to risk all of that. Let's chuck all of that back in. Let's equip uh, this. And I'm actually going to go to a PvP world as well because uh, when you die, you get put straight back into a bank. So you can just spam click a V1 of Zamrak and then get put straight back into the bank when you respawn. So it's a pretty good way of doing it. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we're good. We're good. I don't actually know the way I need to go. Probably should have looked at that. Oh fuck, it's so close. I thought I was gonna get Telly there. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I didn't realise it was that close. Fuck yeah. Right, are we gonna get uh are we gonna get PK'd or not? I don't ooh, that's like the uh chaos something, isn't it? Over there. Let's let's avoid that shit because I don't want to get done by that. Oh it's totally free boys. It's totally free. Okay. Let's, uh, let's use it. Let's see how much XP we're going to get from this. I've never done this before. This is my first time. 437 a bone. Oh my god, that's so good. That's so good. Let's, uh, let's zoom out and we'll be able to see if anything comes. And we'll just be ready to log out, I guess. That's, that's what I'm going to do. Oh fuck, we're being attacked. We're being attacked. We're being attacked. 109. Let's turn auto retaliate off. That's probably something I should have done before. Oh no. No, we're going to lose all the bones. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know if I like this method. That's so shit. Literally my first one. So I'm not actually going to use PvP worlds. What I'm going to do is do the, do the inventory and then I'll use the PvP world to use the bank. Then I'll jump back to a normal world. Just because I feel like it's so convenient for the people doing this. Like people doing Dagonoth Bones and doing the Wildy Altar. It's so convenient to be in a PvP world. Then it sort of makes it a hot spot. So what I'm going to do is not use PvP worlds while I'm doing it. Kill myself and then jump over to a PvP world. And um, we'll see if that's better. How many bones we got? Ooh, nice. Okay, cool. These, these levels are going so quick. What the fuck? How much XP do you get an hour? 270, 280k XP an hour. It must be like 300k XP plus an hour. This is crazy. Okay, and then we just like do this. We just click, spam click the one of Zamrak, which kills us. And then we can just hop to a PvP world. And after that, we can just rebone and then come back here, which is so nice. So this is such a good method. Um, and yeah, literally, we've nearly got a level already from like an inventory and a bit. Because uh, obviously we lost like most of the last inventory. So yeah, this is going to be super quick. There's the death. Then what we do is jump on over to a PvP world. Boom. Switch to PvP world. And then boom, there's a bank right there. Fuck yeah. Okay, we're getting 71 prayer. It's about to come in. Here it comes. Is it one more bone? There we go. 71 prayer. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Uh, that is so quick. I can't believe how quick that is. One more bone and that is 72 prayer. This is honestly so quick, guys. 
Um, I'm surprised people still use the uh, house method. I guess it's more AFK and just, you know, nicer. But this is so fucking quick. And cheaper, honestly. So worth doing. Boys and girls, we're going to end the episode there. We're going to get 73 prayer. Probably not from uh, the next couple of inventories, but we're going to be there uh, by the next progress video. I'm sure we'll be wrapping up this 77 prayer. Then we need to go and make enough money for Rigor and Augury. Uh, that way we can really start to think about getting into the Inferno. And as I said, we're going to go and get 94 mage and 95 range just so we got a couple of decent levels. And then it's going to start. Then it's going to start. We're going to be going for it. I don't know how long it's going to take us, but I'm super excited to start getting into it. We're going to be streaming the Inferno attempts as well, guys. So uh, if you don't follow me over on Twitch, the link is in the description. Uh, it'd be awesome if you guys could come and check me out there. Uh, I stream every day, 10 p.m. UK time. So, uh, yeah, if you've got nothing to do in your evenings and you feel like watching a bit more RuneScape, then I'm always there over on Twitch. But, guys, that is going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Never gonna give you up I'm never gonna let you go Never gonna say goodbye, no Never gonna give you up I'm never gonna let you go Never gonna say goodbye